So, Alejo Castro Nevis has quick time at 227 today, but the real story, our buddy James Hinchcliffe has been cleared to drive a race car again. Good to see Hinch, um, just kind of tell the people who are watching this, did you momentarily get knocked out when that wing hit you and then you quickly regain conscious because you thankfully managed to bring it to a stop? I've, I've, I, I lost a lot of memory, Bill. Um, <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, obviously I, I don't remember specifics, uh, but the, the best guess is that, yeah, I was, I was briefly out and, I mean, thankfully came to soon enough and with enough faculties left to, to make that left turn there and I mean it could have been a lot worse you know we were on a restart a lot of cars were all together there and you know I, I obviously didn't hit the brakes very hard if at all we're not quite I still have to look at the data but to not get into anybody else you know that was that was big to not get into the tire wall that was big so I dodged a lot of bullets in the grand scheme of things when because uh, you know then they the, the, you know you're going away on the stretch and you're kind of holding it when did you, was it a couple, three or four hours afterwards that you really thought you kind of came to? Yeah, it was about three hours. You know, I, I remember right up to that restart. I, mem I remember coming out of turn 14, hitting the overtake button, and then from the green flag onwards, it's it's blank uh, until a couple hours later, just before I got discharged from hospital. Um, I was awake I was awake just in time for the doctor to tell my family, just ignore him. He's going to be really really annoying for the next couple hours asking the same questions over and over. I'm like, dude, I'm right here. I can <laughs> I can hear you. And unfortunately for me, I, I'm now remembering stuff. Yeah. But no, I, and you know, honestly, my, I, I, I got to send a lot of love to my girlfriend, Kirsten, and, and my sister, Rebecca, and my parents, everybody who took care of me when I, when I got sent home. And on top of obviously all the medical staff at, at IU and here at the track and IndyCar, um, between between the, the medical people and, and then my family I had a great support system to help get through this thing as quickly as we did. I was talking to our hero, Uncle Bobby Unser, today. I said, Unser, how many times do you think you ran a car with a concussion? Oh, my God, probably seven. So the things that are in place now have, have certainly made it much safer for you guys and stuff. But really and truly, I, I, when you when you walk out and they finally clear and you started your rehab and, and your therapy and stuff, did you figure just a couple of days and you'll be right back to where you were? I, I was figuring that because I wanted to believe that. You know, I, I had no idea whether or not it was going to be true. It was my first concussion. I, I've never had to go through it to know what the kind of steps are. But you know, I was told to do certain things and not do certain things. And I mean, I I took that like I mean that was gospel. You know, I, I wanted so bad to get back in time for qualifying that I was going overboard on everything that they told me to do. I, I wore my sunglasses for like 96 straight hours I think I slept in them um, just, just to help in any way and uh, after talking to some of the doctors on the phone and going for my first evaluation everything was looking really good and got back into the gym everything felt good when I was getting the heart rate up and you know I was a little nervous coming in into the speedway today knowing I had, to, had to still pass that test and that someone could still stop me from driving but uh, it all worked out that's good well I know their fans are happy to see you. the media is happy to see you. and listen I know things have been a little tough the $200 I loaned you on Friday night just pay me back when you can. I mean, it might be a little bit blurry, but uh huh. Yeah, no, I'll get right on top. Michael of that. Andretti you loaned you a thousand. I think mine was only two hundred. Yeah, Marco said I owed him ten. So uh, let's put it this way: if I uh, if I put the United Fiber and Data car on pole, I'll start paying back some of my debts. <laughs> All right, this is Robin Miller for Racer.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Hinch. Wait, who?